Hi everybody, welcome back to my vlog. Today I'm gonna do something that I'm actually super excited about. I am going to show you what is in my flute bag. Now this is something I've been wanting to do for the past year or so, but I kept putting it off. And I've seen many videos of other YouTubers showing what's in their purse or what's in their other bags, but I don't think I've seen a musician do this, as far as I know. So I guess you could technically say this is the musician's edition of what's in my bag. So to start it off, I carry an Altieri flute and piccolo combo travel bag. And the bag that I carry is standard black and has backpack straps, which helps me a lot when I'm carrying this. And this bag is fantastic in my opinion because it holds multiple flutes and your piccolo. It can hold a lot of your music. It can hold other accessories that you need not only in the bag, but also in the front pocket. And I love this bag, I use it all the time because A, it's super spacious, B, it holds literally everything that I need, not only for general use, but also for specific rehearsals, and like I said earlier, it's just easy for me to carry. So if you're interested in buying one or another model of one of these bags, I'll link it in the description below. Okay, so now that I'm done talking about the bag, let's actually look inside the bag. Okay, I'm looking at it from the top, and I don't know if you can see that, but I got a lot in here. <laughs> so let's start digging. Okay, so obviously I have my instruments in here first. This is my flute. It's a Miyazawa 602 um, heavy walled flute. And I've had her since 2016, and I love her to death. And then my piccolo is a Yamaha piccolo that I primarily use for my ensemble. I'm in wind ensemble at UNT. And both of these instruments, they serve me well, they play really well, so I'm happy about those. Mm -hmm. I also have my double stand and a piccolo peg and a flute peg, which really helps when I'm using both instruments in a rehearsal. Oh, my music from this most recent chamber concert. In case you didn't know, a couple weeks ago, um, I had my first chamber concert of the semester, and my amazing flute quintet and I performed Raga Terra by Derek Chark. I don't know if you can see that. And I said this on Instagram before, this piece was an endurance test, but it was also a good piece to work on and perform extended technique as well. So if you're looking for a good modern flute quintet piece, highly recommend this. The Burton Sonatina. And this is actually my jury piece for this semester. So you can see that. Um, I'll be playing movements one and two for this semester's jury. And I'm gonna be honest, I first heard this my freshman year in college, and I'm surprised I haven't played it yet. Somebody call 911! I fell in love with this piece because not only is it melodic and lyrical, but it's also a good test of technique. So I'm excited to play this this semester. La Flute de Pan by Moquet. And this piece I'm actually learning on the side, just so I have something else to focus on besides the Burton Sonatina. And this is the piece that I'm using as my side piece. The 30 Car Gellert Etudes. And this is actually my current ongoing etude series on this channel. And as you know, earlier this week I released um, etude number three. and. At the moment, I'm working on etudes number four and five. So you can see that. The Trevor Y Complete Daily Exercises for the Flute. And this is a lifesaver when it comes to working on technique and tone. It's the best of both worlds in one book. So I love this a lot. And here's more tone exercises by Moise. And this I actually printed off of my MSLP. I don't know why I haven't bought the real book. I promise I will buy the actual book really soon. But this is also another lifesaver when it comes to working on tone and breath control. And these are really good exercises. My notebook for when I have lessons. And I basically write down everything that I have worked on, everything that I need to continue improving, and anything else flip related in my lessons goes in here. Okay, this is still in here. This is um, the Flute Quartet Arrangement by Gina Luciani of All I Ask of You from Phantom of the Opera. And 
I gotta be honest, this is by far one of my favorite arrangements of a Phantom of the Opera piece. So Gina Luciani, if you're watching, I love this arrangement so much. The Genie Bax Dresser book for orchestral excerpts. And this book is fantastic because not only does it have the actual excerpts from famous, famous orchestral repertoire, but she also has notes on what you should keep in mind when you're playing and what you should do in each one so you play absolutely flawlessly. So, another book that I recommend. The Telemann Fantasies for solo flute. And as you all know, I've been working on the eighth fantasy. Um, eventually I'm gonna start working on the ninth for potential competitions later in the year. And this is really good to have. So then if you wanna have a solo flute piece in your back pocket, these are the ones to go to. Here's another solo flute piece. Um, this is Bold Size Image for solo flute. And this is also another piece for upcoming competitions. And this is very technically challenging, but it's very expressive. So this is a really good piece as well for solo flute. My music for wind ensemble. Um, as you can see, I have three pieces for, I don't know if you can see that. Three pieces for this concert cycle. And one of the pieces we're actually recording. Um, I'll let you know what that is later in the future. And yeah, these are all really good technique challenges and very exciting repertoire. Oh, I forgot this is still in here. This is my, all, the, all four flute parts from my Danny Boy cover that I did a few weeks ago. Oh, I forgot this was still in here. This is a really good arrangement. I love Danny Boy. this was still in here. Um, in case you don't know, um, actually I don't think I told you this at all, but sometimes when I'm at church back home, when I'm not playing during service, I am helping out in the children's ministry. And the last time I was there, a couple of the kids drew some pictures for me and gave them to me as little presents. <laughs> oh, I love these. Piccolo swab and another piccolo cleaning rod. My thumb ports for my flute, which really helps position my right thumb correctly. And both of my Lafriques. I have a 41 millimeter gold plated rose Lafrique for my flute. And I also have a 33 millimeter gold plated rose Lafrique. Okay, so now we've cleared everything from the inside of the bag. We still have the front pocket to go through, so let's look at it. Got an extra cleaning cloth for both of my instruments. Again, can't hurt to be too prepared. My ace wrist brace for when my wrists have a little bit too much tension and they hurt. I put this on before I play, I take it off when I play, and then I put this back on. And it's reversible, so that helps. I have another cleaning rod for my flute. Like I said, can't hurt to be too prepared. <laughs> Lots of souvenirs from when I went to the Texas Flute Society Festival over the summer. Here's the book telling about all of the events that were happening, the exhibitions that were there. Little bag from when I checked out Wind Defender, which was super fun to do. Information from Burkhart for their flutes and their piccolos, and they were really fun to check out while I was there. Another card telling me about Wind Defender, and it gives all the information about what it does. An extra cleaning cloth from when I visited um, the Flute Center of New York at the festival. It looks so pretty. It looks so pristine. My Onyx microphone from when I perform at church. And this microphone really helps when you're playing on stage at church. I can just show you how it works. So how to put this on is you twist the crown off of your head joint. You place this on the head joint and aim the microphone to wherever your mouth is. Twist the crown back on the head joint and you are hooked on and you just get hooked up to the sound system and you are mic'd and ready to go at church. More cards from Texas Flute Society from Wind Defender and the Flute Center of New York. Another Wind Defender pencil. I got a lot of merchandise from Wind Defender. Two hair clips, so I guess when I'm playing and my hair decides to be difficult or I need to put it back and I don't have any hair ties, go with these clips. Now here's something I never go anywhere without, which is the Salon Paws pads. And these help a lot because sometimes I'm going through my day and my neck will be really 
tense or my shoulders will be really sore or really tense. I just put these on and they relieve that tension, which helps a lot when I'm playing. Oh, and I have an extra peg for my stand in case I lose my flute peg. I got another one. And I think that's everything. Okay, so I'm looking around me and I realize I have a lot of stuff in my bag. But honestly, it can't hurt to be too prepared with music, maintenance, or just basic things with your flute. Anyway, there you go. That concludes this week's vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned something about me through what I carry in my bag. And also let me know what you guys carry in your bags, whatever instrument you play. Um, also, let me know what else you would like to see me do in these vlogs because I'd like to hear your ideas. Um, if you want to see more of me, be sure to follow me on Instagram at a Langley Flute, and be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so then you know when my next video goes up. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely Saturday, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye!